Like the lengthwise around, yeah. <laughs> okay, you could you could do that. All right, I have one. I believe hey, that would also get the uh, cross dress. Yeah, my shirt would be sufficient for a dress for you. <laughs> I have one here. It's for Cam. Is it? Yes. What, Cam, what's it do? Would you like to give us a short instructional lecture on natural oh, on natural chemistry? Natural or chemistry. Natural thirty five dollars. Natural, natural chemistry? chemistry. That's what it says. Natural chemistry. Um. I sub I imagine you can pick. Is there a way? If that is not an actual natural? kind of no. chemistry, you can pick a different type of chemistry. Uh, but, sure. Okay. Okay. Let's see. A short lecture? Uh, well, it says five minutes. Five, five minutes. minutes. Yeah, so first, you... define natural chemistry. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's <coughs> let's see. Where do we start with this? So we're going with yes. You're doing yeah. natural. Okay. Well, natural chemistry. So chemist in the dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not safe. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So. Everything you knew in high school chemistry, or had been taught in high school chemistry, is a filthy lie. <laughs> Everything you were taught in first year chemistry is probably a less filthy lie, but a useful one. Um, and basically everything we know about chemistry is actually pretty much a filthy lie. But there are progressively better lies that describe things m more accurately. Um, so. The one that I use most often is quantum chemistry, where we, uh, have you ever heard of a particle in a box chat? Or it's a cat in the box. That cat in the box? <laughs> heard of that. Okay, so basically, the idea that you might have of an electron being a thing <coughs> that moves around, or a particle being a thing that moves around in a box and bounces off other things and uh, has basically uh, uh, an existence as a hard billiard ball is cute, um, but it isn't terribly useful for the stuff I do. Instead, we prefer to think of these things as waves in space with an energy value um, that can be solved sometimes. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. It's like hydrogen and helium. Yeah, hydrogen. <laughs> hydrogen has a totally solvable. Yeah, uh, hydrogen we got down. Yeah. Anyway. Um, actually, I, I would argue that this is chemistry. Uh, that chemistry is actually a fairly blurry science. It's hard to define it as bunches of people in lab coats mixing things together because it's like maybe a century ago that was what it looked like, but now it involves people working on computers and doing models that don't actually involve any matter at all. Uh, um, or people... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that's me. That's what you do. Yeah, Lars here pilots a, um, a mass spectrometer yeah. and does reactions in the particle beam, which is ludicrous. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, I also do regular chemistry, too. Yeah. Like I mix wet, things with the things. Yeah, lo lots of people still do, still do wet chemistry, so which you know? is still it's basically, like... basically, but you can't drink what I make. Well, that's just tragic. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's um, works kind of, too. So basically, physics or chemistry operates at the interface of energy and matter. Most of the time, <laughs> some of the time, it's super blurry, and you can tell that from the way that the chemistry Nobel is awarded. It goes le this year. It went to a computational uh, oh, chemist. Oh, quit gloating. Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, it went to um, what's his name? Uh, Batman. No. Know yeah, I, I should know, I know this. this. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Anyways, last year it went to the bugs? people who, uh, it went to uh, biochemists who worked on G-coupled protein inhibitors, or G-coupled protein things. I don't know, some biochemist stuff, and it wasn't real science as far as I'm concerned. So, <laughs> I kid. It was actually a really important discovery that was made. Um, and that's kind of the breadth of it, where you have a lot of people who say that theoretical chemistry isn't, it is, it isn't real science, and a lot of people who say that the other end of it, that also got awarded a Nobel for chemistry, isn't real. Isn't really chemistry either. So, it's yeah, it occupies a weird, fuzzy middle field. Um, where do we go from here? That was that's probably, probably good five minutes, and we got nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like chemistry. We actually described nothing. Yeah, this is why people have to get degrees yeah. to understand what the hell's going go. on. Yeah, TLDR. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. That yeah. and that 
chat is why um, they teach you horrible, inaccurate models in high school and middle school because the real one is Brain complex hurting. and high school. Yeah, the entirety of education is lies to children. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that chemistry. Special. Yes, I don't know history. Yeah. Mathematics is relatively safe to a certain point, but any 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 of the you know science and throughout school, any of your history lessons, all of that simplified, reduced, packaged, palatable lies to children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, G coupled protein receptors. Yeah, which are, are super cool. I did a class that was on them. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, like if if a first year chemistry class had to actually deal with the models that we use to describe the things that they describe. Like, when they teach you about electrons, if you had to use the actual thing that we use to describe electrons, your prof would just come out holding a bottle of Jack by the, by the neck with a cigarette going, I don't even know why we're bothering with this. 